In California, fire is a part of our ecosystem. It's necessary for these systems to survive. Before we were doing active fire suppression, fires would burn through this landscape up here about every 10 to 12 years. And what were those fires doing? They were taking off the accumulation of litter and pine cones and dead wood and dead trees in bite-sized chunks. And they were doing it with fairly low intensity, mostly ground fire that would allow the bigger trees to survive. Across the entire Sierra Nevada, in fact, most of Western US has been a traditional regime of suppressing fire for good reason. We don't want to hurt people, including the firefighters who have to manage blazes when they get close to people. But one of the unintended consequences was that that created a problem that gets worse and worse every year because more fuel builds up. Now we're dealing with king fires that are 79,000 acres or a rim fire that's 300,000 acres. Those mega fires that burn under large percentages of high intensity are not what had been experienced up here in the past. Our partners from the Forest Service are going to turn fire to the landscape in a more controlled way. The Pacific Southwest Research Station and the California Academy of Sciences, we've come together to understand what resilience in these ecosystems looks like. We want forests to be resilient so that when they have changes like fire, it doesn't turn them into grasslands or turn them into something else besides forest. Really what we're shooting for is forests that serve all the needs of people for forests, from recreation to watersheds to timberlands. And we don't want to have to spend a whole lot of money trying to manage them. We want them to be naturally resilient. We're down to Capel's watershed, which I think is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. It's a sub-watershed of the South Fork of the American River that ultimately flows down into Folsom Lake and then on out into the ocean. The watershed is actually about 20,000 acres. It supplies water to a lot of downstream users. This watershed is one that has not experienced some of the other disturbances such as intensive grazing or management of forests to remove timber, but it has experienced a lack of fire and it's also experiencing as all of our ecosystems are climate change, so increasing drought and changes in precipitation and temperature over time. Since it hasn't had fire for over 100 years, there's a lot of fuel on the ground and a lot of downed trees and dry trees. And so the real question would be, if that system got burnt, would it remain a forest? Would it be resilient to that? The Capels Creek watershed is scheduled for some controlled fuel reduction over the next five to 15 years. Before they do fuel reduction, we would love to have a snapshot of what does the place look like. This actually is an important moment because we often don't get a chance to see the condition prior to an action or to an accidental fire, for instance. We decided to focus on birds because birds are easily detectable, mostly through your ear, but also visually. We have to walk between 400 and 600 meters between points, depending on whether we're going straight or diagonal, in some sort of loop or like a Pac-Man. It's perfect. It was clear that those forests are very healthy in that area. Now we get an opportunity to see how the burn will affect that area. Next year when we go out and survey the birds, there'll be some points that are going to be post-burn, some that are still pre-burn, and then we can begin to see how the burn affects biodiversity of birds. So our hope is that we might have up to five years of data looking at post-burn and seeing how the birds respond to the burn and how long it takes them to respond. Forest is always changing dynamically. Some areas will burn and become open. Then small trees that like fire will successfully germinate and grow. And then over time, and that time could be 100 to 300 years, that will become a mature forest. Somewhere else, a landslide or a combination of pests or another fire will take the mature forest and bring it back to that base state. So it's always renewing, it's always cycling.